before you making any bills that you want you must do this first and i will guarantee you it will change your play style that makes you don't want to go back to your old play style and don't worry no cheating included no weird bugs no console command for pc and this play style mwah. Fudge Muppet has already talking in depth about how good Double Necromage plus Vampire. If you haven't seen videos yet, you can watch link in the description below, but I haven't found a single video that gives you step-by-step -step tutorial with gameplay included. So here we are. For reminder, if you use the unofficial patch Skyrim that prevent Double Necromage perks, you have to run USSEP Necromage Fix mod to make this tutorial works. The advantages when you do double necromage plus vampire is it just not boosting your enchantment effect but also boost your perks in perk scale boost standing stone and the power of your shout what the f now you will have to do this step in correct order or else it won't work The first step is double necromage. What is necromage? When you do deal damage to the undead, the damage that they receive will huge. That's necromage means. How you can get that? When you reach level 70 in restoration perks, as you can see, there's a necromage perk. How you achieve that level? It's up to you. I don't care. But I recommend that you to leveling mastery skill that is smithing, enchanting, and alchemy. If you don't know how to level in that 3 skills, you can watch my video link in the description below. Make restoration armor. Buy war. Go to this place and then spam your war. Don't ask me why this place boosts your restoration XP. It's just Bethesda thing. How you get the other necromatch? You need to get a bloodworm helm. Fast travel to win helm. Climb and back and we'll be off. Go to Mars Ipon. Go to Gallus Hall. And do the mission to open the house. I don't want to give tutorial to open this house because I still forgot the steps and still searching tutorial on YouTube. Tihi. No. 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 After you complete the mission, you will get the platform helm, open necromage purse, intersection skills, use the helmet, now double necromage is complete. The second step is become a vampire. You can find vampire location in Marasai Pond, just go to the middle pond, there's a den there. You will encounter a group of vampires there, wait until you get sanguinaire vampires pop up. After that, go back to your home, wait until 3 days in game until you become a vampire. How do we know that double necromage plus vampire is worth? Use any enchantment armor that you have, check your status in active effect. You will see a huge different status between the armor and active effect. If you don't get that effect yet, 
re-equip your Bloodborne Helm and check your status again. If you still don't get the effect, try to load your save file or maybe you using unofficial patch maybe, I don't know. Now the moment of truth, the showcasing build. I have three characters with the same necromatch vampire but different builds. Let's say you want to build dual wielding sword play style. Dual flurry in one handed is your best friend. If you already making double necromatch plus vampire and then you take double flurry first, the attack speed will boost greatly than you can imagine. It's the same speed when you use elemental fury max shot. Can you imagine how fast when you do elemental fury and double necromatch vampire? So Mesh build will become a walking nook itself. As you can see, the range that comes from Unbounded Storm and Mara's Wrath will absolutely insane if you play Necromage plus Vampire's build. Combined with perk Aspect of Terror from Illusion, Augmented Flames, Freeze, Shock from Destruction, and then Fortified Destruction Potion, the range and damage will boost greatly. I mean, seriously. Look at that range. The last one is bow build. Any bow build itself is already broken. You take any perks from bow will boost like insane. But be careful for taking steady hand perks. Just take one perk from steady head perks or it will error or kind of crash. Now you understand how broken Necromage plus Vampire build, but the best thing in the world has always a shortcoming. Since you already become undead, the damage that you receive will huge too, especially in magic and fire damage. Because Necromage is like anti-undead and you become vampire which means you are undead, so any debuff effect you get will huge too. How to overcome this? Take Atronach perks from Alteration and then take Atronax Stone 2 for 100% resistance for any magic damage. If you play any builds that need stamina such as sword build, sneak build, bow build, blah blah blah, you must make stamina regeneration armor. For example, like if you play two-handed build, you must make enchanting fortify two-handed and stamina regen. I think that's all for today. If you found this video helpful to you, make sure to subscribe, activate the notification bell, and share, like, and comment. Cheers, bye.